The benefits of eating raw vegetables are the same for anybody. Fruit and vegetables are at the cornerstone of a healthy diet and they will lower the risk of many chronic diseases, including cancer, diabetes and heart disease. Raw foods are foods that are uncooked, but also it's foods that are, have been minimally processed. So most foods that are eaten raw are going to be plant-based foods. If you looked at a person's uh, normal diet, if they're on raw food, it will contain plenty of fruits and vegetables as its basis. Some people may choose to eat some raw meat foods, maybe our sushi for example would be eaten, but by far plant foods will make up the 90% of the foods that a person has on their plate. Here I'm going to make a raw tagine. We have some bloom wild rice which we've soaked overnight in the dehydrator, some sprouted buckwheat which we've soaked and sprouted for 24 hours and then dehydrated for another 48. Now I'm just going to mix those two together and that's going to be our couscous. We have some fresh vegetables which we toss in salt then we place in the dehydrator to dry them off and that will give us this which is a vegetable with a cooked appearance as well as a cooked texture. Then I'm going to add some sprouted chickpeas and then just some Moroccan sauce. Before humans discovered fire, or all of our food was eaten raw, and we've, one of the reasons why we've probably done so well as a species is that when we started cooking food, we actually increased the amount of foods we could eat and we increased the digestibility of food, allowing us to grow bigger and stronger and uh, dominate the planet. If you only eat raw foods, you limit the amount of nutrients that you eat. Uh, there is a risk of deficiencies if you become too focused on particular foods. And importantly, if you only eat raw foods, you exclude some really beneficial foods that are good for our health. Legumes, for example, they are strongly linked with the reduction of many chronic diseases. But if you eat raw foods, you won't be eating beans or lentils or peas. When you heat food, you do destroy some of the proteins and enzymes in them. But so too, when you eat the foods, that's what your stomach acid does as well. Cooking food can make food healthier. Number one, and most importantly, when you cook food, you kill off a lot of microbes that can give you food poisoning. And number two, when you cook food, you can actually increase the absorption of certain nutrients. So it's not all bad news. Cooking food is a safe way to treat food. It can actually improve nutrition in certain cases. The raw food diet message actually has many positives in it. If it's encouraging someone to eat more raw, natural-based plant foods, that's going to be good for their diet. But our biggest health problem in a country like Australia is we don't eat enough fruit and vegetables to start with. Whether they're cooked or raw is probably a moot point. <laughs>